Hello and welcome back to Higher Maths Differentiation. We have looked at differentiating a function of x in the form x to the power n in the previous video. In this video, we are going to look at differentiating a function of x in the form of a x to the n. If we have a function in this form, then the derivative f dash of x will equal a multiplied by n multiplied by x to the power n minus 1. So it goes straight into an example, which generally makes it make a bit more sense. So f of x equals 2x cubed. So rather than just bringing the 3 to the front and multiplying it by x, we do 3 multiplied by 2x, which is the 6x, and drop the power by 1, so it's 6x squared. So 3 to the front, 3 times 2 is 6, drop the power by 1, 6x squared. Question number two, differentiate 4x to the power negative 2 with respect to x, where x is not equal to 0. Remember, we cannot divide by 0, so this statement is, is in to make the question mathematically correct. Because x to the power negative 2 really means 4 over x squared. So y equals 4x to the power negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied by 4 is negative 8. Reduce the power by 1. x to the power negative 3. Remember, we started with y equals. So we write dy dx. Uh, if we have more than one term, we differentiate each term individually. So here we have f of x. Find f dash of x. I'm going to differentiate the first term. So 3 to the front. So 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. Reduce the power by 1. 9x squared. Minus 2x squared in f of x. So bring the power to the front. So minus 2 times 2 is 4. Drop the power by 1 would be x to the power 1, which is just x. Now, differentiating 5x, let's think about this. 5x is 5x to the power 1. Let's bring the power to the front as 1 times 5, which is 5. Reduce the power would be x to the 0. x to the 0 is just 1. So we've just got 5 multiplied by 1, which is just 5. So if we have any term followed by x, so for example, 5x negative uh, minus 3x, pi x, ax, if we differentiate it, we'll just get whatever the coefficient of x was. So if I differentiate 5x, I get 5. If I differentiate minus 7x, I get minus 7. If I differentiate pi x, remember pi is just a number, I will just get pi. And question two here, differentiate y with respect to x. So each time, power to the front, reduce the power by 1. Power to the front, reduce the power by 1. Remember, 6x, if we differentiate, we'll just get 6. Now, if we differentiate a constant term or just a number term with respect to x, let's have a think about this. So 2 is really 2x to the power 0. So if I bring the 0 to the front, 0 multiplied by 2 is 0. So 0 multiplied by anything is just 0. So if I'm differentiating a number term or a constant term on its own, I will always get 0 when I do that. Differentiating with respect to other variables. So here, differentiate this with respect to t. Just do exactly the same thing, but I'm not going to write d by dx because it's not the x's I'm differentiating. It's the t's I'm differentiating. So differentiate 3t squared minus 2t. Power to the front. Reduce the power by 1. We'll give 6t. I differentiate minus 2t. I'll just get minus 2. And... Last one here, or second one, differentiate a of r. Or given a of r equals pi r squared, find a dash of r. So here, rather than f of x, I've got a of r. But we're going to follow exactly the same rules, and it's the r's we're differentiating. So power to the front, so it'll be 2 pi r to the power 1, which is just 2 pi r. And example 3 here, differentiate px squared with respect to p. So it's only the p's I'm differentiating. So if I differentiate 1p, I'll get 1. So if I differentiate px squared, I will get 1x squared. And this is just a note of what I said on the previous page. If you differentiate any term followed by an x, you will just get that term. So if I differentiate 6x, we get 6. Differentiate negative a half x, we get negative a half. And if we differentiate any constant or number term, we will always get 0.